Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest Wall Tutorials. I am Goi TGZ and right now I am in America. So as you can see from here, uh, now I know exactly what people uh, in other countries actually talk about. There is actually literally nothing here. So absolutely nothing at all. So uh, yeah, so yeah, uh, I've been in America for the past week now. So I will be going to back to Japan tomorrow. But uh, yeah, a lot of stuff going on that I haven't gone over uh, pretty much a lot of stuff that I don't really have access to that much since I'm actually here in America so especially going on with the uh, Dice Grand Adventure uh, campaign uh, you're gonna have that uh, pretty much we actually now have the uh, high difficulty dungeon we also have the new uh, Mega Monsters so that's gonna be Miss Vern the problem with Miss Vern is that, again, not available in Japan, so uh, or not available overseas. So, um, pretty much, uh, I'm going to have to wait until I get back to Japan to actually do an actual uh, video on that for him. But uh, with this particular... Uh, uh, high difficulty, super high difficulty dungeon. Uh, it's going to be available until February 28th. And uh, with this, again, like other uh, high difficulty dungeons, you're going to get a special title and 2 million gold. Then over here, uh, we have a casino uh, challenge. So this was from the 27th, going to end on the 3rd. So what you do is that you actually go and do uh, different uh, casino challenges. So this is going to be, uh, for example, Sumurun, uh, the uh, Mahjong. Uh, depending on the types of hands that you get in that, you actually do get... Um, what is going to be experience points so uh with that uh you'll be able to challenge or um you'll be able to collect enough experience to actually challenge uh this particular character up here so uh with that um you'll actually be able to get the amount of experience that you accumulated so right now i believe for me it's going to be up to three hundred thousand experience that i can actually get from that particular enemy so this can actually be gotten through both uh the uh, Mahjong and also through the slots as well. Then also you're going to have uh, pretty much New Year and New Spring events. Uh, I actually don't want to go over those. I haven't really, there's not much I can do or show uh, since I'm actually uh, in another country, America right now. But what I really wanted to do was the actual uh, high difficulty dungeon for this particular video. So that's going to be right here. So it's going to be featuring this particular team here. So two god hands and two high priests. That's what I'm going to be using here. So for example, this particular high priest or this god hand here is going to be equipped with um, the demon dragon sword. So that's going to be bought on sword. So this should actually work out quite well for this particular battle. Then for both my high priests, I will have on the uh, holy wind staff. So that's going to have Behomara and also Zaoraru. Then for my other battle master, I'm going to have on the uh, miracle blade. So that was last year's uh, new year's weapon. So uh, we'll be very interesting to see uh, what the new New Year's weapon is going to be for this year as well. So if you want to know more about this particular party, you can look down in the video description below. But right now, I want to go into this dungeon. I'm pretty much going in almost blind, so uh, here we go. <laughs> Okay, so for this first battle, this is going to be against Lawheart and uh, Baran. So together, so here, what I want to do is try to take Lawheart out first. So first thing I'll do is actually I will use Spirit of Chivalry or Chivalric Spirit on my God Hand here. And then on this God Hand here, what I'll do is I'll use Giga Break. So this should connect. Let's see how much damage I do. Okay, wow, 37,000 damage. Okay, that's actually pretty good. So that's actually 
definitely a quarter of uh, his HP right there. So uh, what I'm going to do is going to use Skada on this god hand. And Skada on my High Priest here. Okay, going to use his uh, special technique. Get to the bottom with the spin attack. I'm going to use uh, Giga Break next turn. So I should be okay. So here, what I'll do is I'm going to go and attack Laurel Heart. And hopefully, this will connect and I will also be healing as well. So, yes, so 10, oh, close to 10,000 damage there. So, uh, right now, with on him, I have, um, let's see, definitely about 47,000 damage down, so close to 50. So, ooh, so probably next turn or next couple of turns, he will be under 50% uh, of his health. So here with this character, I'm going to use Skada. I'll use Skada on uh, this particular High Priest over here. Take a break. Okay, ooh, that was a direct hit. Okay. That was blocked as well. So here, going to go in and attack. So uh, I could go in and try to do this, um, but uh, the chances of me hitting are actually going to be less. So what I want to do is I'm actually just going to go ahead and use Stimmy. Okay, ooh, that was actually uh, nice right there. Let's see what Law Heart does. Okay, going to use that. Okay. High Priest down there. So what I'll do is um, I'll revive uh, this High Priest. And then going to use Battle Genes here. And heal up. Okay, nice echo. So here everyone should be fully healed. Iden, okay. Okay, hopefully my god hand, the one on the left, is going to get, uh, actually he doesn't, but, or, sh yeah, he doesn't. So here I'm going to actually use Giga Break, so hopefully again, get some pretty good damage. Oh, and down, taken down with that one hit, 61,000 damage. So yes, so down, okay, so here, going to go and attack a bottom. Okay, that was very nice. So hopefully this battle is going to go a whole lot better. Nice guard. Okay, going to use Giga Break next. Okay, so with that, I'm actually going to go in attack. 24,000 damage. Miracle Shield or Miracle Blade. You're going to go. And here, going to use Skara. Okay, ooh, nice. 
Nice buff. Let's see. Okay, good. Let's see. He gets another attack. Ooh, regular attack there. Okay, no problem. So here, actually going to go and attack. So 8,000 damage. So here, I'm actually going to lose my Stemmy. But, uh, ooh, okay. So actually going to use jeans. And, uh, ooh. Actually, I don't have any more. Let's see if Baha. Let's see, I actually don't have any Baishion scrolls anymore, so I can't do anything with that. Um, hmm. But, uh, yeah, since I don't have any there, I can't really do anything, so what I'll do is... Uh, I'm actually just going to have to give him Skata. Increase his defense. Okay, so here, going to go and attack again. So here, going to have to go and attack. 13,000 damage, so that's not bad. Okay, so a share. Then here, going to go use Skata again. So Emblem Beam, oh Gigadane, ooh I forgot he had that, and I then, ooh okay, so what I'll do is, uh, okay so he's under 50% uh, percent of his health, so that's why he's using that, so uh, what I'll do, I'm going to use Protective Shield, I'm going to use Let's see here, going to just heal up. And heal up here as well. Okay, nice guard for my god hand. Okay, hopefully two attacks. Nope. Okay. So next turn he's going to get an attack. So here what I'll do is I'm going to use Spirit of Chivalry. Here going to use Stemmy. Here going to heal up. And heal up here as well. Wow, nice guard. Very nice guard. So here, going to go and attack. Here, going to use uh, battle genes. Going to heal up. Let's see what I get here. I don't get a share, so I'm just going to use Skata. I'll use that on this god hand here. Dragonic Order, so I'll probably Emblem Bling twice. Nighting. Oh, okay, he's still alive. Good. Alright, going to go and attack. Okay, 7,000 damage. So let's see. Ooh, okay. So let's see what I can do here. So Giga Break. So down. 51,000 damage. Nice.
Okay, so here what I'll do is I'll heal up. And next is going to be a uh, Dragonoid uh, Baran. So that's pretty much going to be almost exactly like um, my battle with um, uh, my uh, Mega Monster battles that I've done before. Uh, it's going to be a bit different since I don't have a... Uh, uh, Ranger to with uh, Fuba to fu use Fubaha, but uh, my uh, high priest both have a skill that I can actually share that will actually uh, give me a Fubaha uh, type ability. So here I'm going to use this uh, Giga Break there. So did 8,400 damage. So here going to use this on my God Hand here. And then use this on this high priest. So Bakarat's Ken, Raging Fist, Spinning Kick, one more attack. Okay, uh, so that got rid of my God Hand there. So what I'll do is I will resurrect. Okay, so that actually skipped that turn. Uh, one's turn. Going to have to just uh, use protective shield on him. So emblem beam. Okay, nice god guard. Okay, so going to go in. Uh, use miracle sunrise. So here, what I'll do is I'll use Protective Shield. I'm going to go heal up. And then here, going to use Skata. I'll use Skata with this uh, High Priest. Okay, nice God Guard there. Okay, so here going to go and use uh, Giga Break since I do have a god nice 32,000 damage. Next, going to heal up. So here, I believe. Uh, this character, this bot on is going to have uh, well, about 160,000 uh, HP, I believe. Okay, he's going to use Dororo next uh, turn. So what I'm going to do is heal up. So here, what I'm going to do is I will, let's see, I'm going to defend. Here, I'm actually going to use Stemmy, going to play things a little loose. Let's see what happens here with this character. Uh, here, what I'll do is I'll use uh, defense. And I'll defend here too. Okay, so here going to go and attack. Here going to use battle genes and going to heal up with both my next uh, characters. Nice guard. Dain. Let's see what's next. Anything? Nope. So here, going to go in attack. Okay, nice. So here, next, going to go in attack. Let's see how much damage I can do here. So 22,000. 
that's actually not bad so total i have about fifty thousand against him and he's actually under 50 percent of his health so here what i'll do is going to use skata so i'll use skata on see i'll use skata on the high priest Okay, ooh, Giga Day, not okay. No problem. Okay, regular hit. Blocked. So here, I'm going to go. Put that there. So, 4,000 damage. This is actually not that high, but, uh,. Just as much, um, again, does, does damage at least. Raging Fist. Okay, ooh, he's going to use Giga Break. Okay, he's going to use it now. So hopefully not on my... Ooh, guarded. Nice. Okay, so here going to go and attack. Let's see how what this does. Thirty-three thousand, nice. That's the type of damage that I need. So he's probably, I want to say, in the red. I haven't had a chance to look. Uh, not yet, but definitely, um, definitely within the next. Ooh, attack couple attacks that I can do with my first god hand he probably will go down um here going to actually use Skata on my god hand here okay nice guard there okay so Dororo is going to be next turn so what I'll do is I will defend Here, I'm going to actually use Protective Shield. Here, going to heal up. And this uh, priest is going to heal up as well. Dororo should be his only attack here. Or at least I thought, but no problem. So here what I'm going to do is actually use Spirit of Chivalry. And here going to use Stemmy. And going to heal up with uh, my healers here. Okay, so Giga Break is coming right now. So he was going to attack. Okay, my god hand, but that's fine, no problem. So here, going to attack. So should be doing maybe 7,000 damage here. Yeah, okay. Then here... Uh, I could go and actually I'm going to attack. Okay, 23,000 damage. Nice. Then here going to go. Gaidane. Okay, no problem. Okay, Dororora. Next turn. So here, actually, let's try to take him out. If I can, we'll see what happens. And, ooh, yes, so took him out. Alright, so, so far, so good. So again, here, uh, last battle is going to be against Miss Vern. Uh, like I said, I've been in America, so I have not been able to uh, battle against him. But I've read up on him, and I probably should be able to get through this battle.
so with this battle again if you want to hit him you're, he's going to have um a high evasion rate so that's actually going to uh so important things are going to be using ki aitame or uh even battle or battle genes so that's going to be quite important here so what i first want to do is use um spirit of chivalry here going to go and attack don't want to waste it so it's a free hit so 20,000 damage, and I believe he has 20, 200,000 uh, HP, so he's down 10%. Uh, so here, going to go and increase defenses here and on this god hand here as well. Okay, that was a regular hit. Yonazun. And something else that I remember from this, uh, you want to actually use protective shield for this particular battle. Uh, he does have uh, status effects. So uh, here, going to use protective shield there as well. And here with my two characters, I'm going to have to heal up. Okay, that was actually a nice echo. So what I'll do here is I will actually use a uh, protective shield on this high priest. Ooh, okay. Okay, yep, and that's the reason why you need to have a uh, protective shield. So here, uh, yeah, so actually, no problem. So what I'll do is I'm going to go and attack with this god hand. Same here with this god hand, I'm going to go and attack. Let's see how much damage I do here. So, okay, 18,000 damage, so that's actually pretty good. So, ah, uh, okay, so, um, hmm, all right. So, I wasn't able to, all right, so that's fine. So, I thought I was going to be able to have this uh, high priest go first, but no. But actually, should be no problem. Okay, Merizoma. Okay, I didn't know he had a Merizoma. Okay, ooh, nice guards there. So here, going to go in attack. Okay, nice. So here, going to go Stemmy. Alright, good. So here, what I'll do is I'm going to use, actually, what can I use, I think? Yes. So with Kiararu, I can actually uh, remove the confusion status effects. So now that's actually quite good. Regular attack there. Yonazun, see another attack. Okay, when ran the regular attack. Okay, so here going to go and attack here. Okay, six thousand damage. So here, what I'll do is I'm going to use battle genes. And then here, going to. Uh, Heal up everyone. And with this character, what I'll do is I will actually use Skata. I'll use Skata actually on herself. There's Ionazun.
things are taking a while because I'm overseas. But, uh, that was also my first, this is also my first time fighting Miss Fern. So, ooh, okay. So, this is actually going to work out quite well. So, hopefully I get some good attack here. Let's see what happens. 74,000 damage. 74,000 damage. That's, he's way, he's definitely under, um, he's definitely under 50,000, uh, 50%. 50 if I get another attack just like that, he will be finished. If I get another attack just like that, he will be finished. Hopefully I can get something just like that, uh, next time. But I am going to be losing uh, my protective shields on my characters. So uh, hopefully I might get a chance to rebuff those. We'll see what happens. Okay. Ooh, okay. I get the God Chain this turn. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to waste that. I'm actually going to go and try to actually get him with that. So let's see what happens here. I could miss. No, I did get him. Only 13,000 damage, but that's fine. That's actually fine. So, like I said, he has about um, 200,000 um, ex uh, not experience, but HP. I've done about uh, how much have I done already? How much have I done already? I can't remember, but um, definitely. Ooh, okay. I got no negative uh, ex um, effects from that, so that's actually good. So here, actually, I'm going to lose my... Um, yeah, I'm going to put on protective shields because I don't want to lose... Uh, So here also, what I'll do is I'll use Protective Shield. What would have been really good here for this battle would have been to use a High Priest that has... Um, uh, what is it called? Uh, crap, I forgot the name of it. But um, pretty much it's a superstar ability. Uh, Encore. So Encore to use on my God Hand. That actually would have worked out well. So here, ooh, let's see if I can connect with this. Okay, 4,000 damage. That's not bad. So, okay, Miss Vern is under 25% uh, of its health. So hopefully uh, within the next turn or two, probably the next turn, I can actually get a very good... Uh, hopefully I can get a direct hit with my uh, god hand in not next turn but the turn afterwards okay that's nice there okay going to go and attack this could possibly miss we'll see what happens no it actually hits no problem so here going to go battle jeans Going to go heal up. And then here as well. Uh, let's see with this uh, god hand here. Let's see what happens next. Okay, that's actually not so bad. Ooh, okay. Hopefully my god hand still stays alive. And hopefully uh, I can actually get a... Um, if I can get a God Chain, then that would pretty much guarantee me uh, this battle. Let's see what happens here. Oh, wait, I do have a God Chain. Oh, so this is probably going to be finished right here. Let's see how much. Oh, no. 35,000 damage. Okay. Only 35, but pretty much he is almost done. He is almost done. So, uh, definitely... 
if I just auto battle right now, this I could probably just get through this. Let's see. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I can, he's actually, I only need uh, one attack. Let's see what happens. Oh, wow. Okay. So, um, let's see. Boggy Cross? But here now I'm going to have to heal up. But yeah, so um, I don't need to do much to actually defeat him. So it looks like uh, he only has very little HP left. Ooh, okay. Let's see what happens there. Okay, didn't do anything there. So here going to try Boggy Cross again. Okay, so, um, yeah, that's the one thing about the AI in this game. It's going to use, like, the silliest things to try to do win the game. So that missed again there. So again, going to use Boggy Cross. And there, Miss Vern is down. So, 38,000 experience. And that completes the super high difficulty dungeon for the Dragon Quest uh, Dies Grand Adventure Collaboration Part 2 event. And there I got Miss Vern. So with this team, this team worked out quite well. Pretty much the star of this team is going to be uh, the Demon Dragon Sword right here. So I got, uh, was able to take the enemies down quite fast with this sword. That's why um, it's one of the best weapons of this year. So yeah, um, not much else to say about this team. I had some nice uh, damage here as well. Uh, consistent damage and also heals as well with uh, this god hand here. And of course my high priest and um, we're healing up as well. But uh, yeah, so that's what I wanted to do for this video. And yeah, um, sorry that there haven't been that many videos recently. Uh, like I said, I'm in America right now, but I was able to finish that quest. And not ri and that was my first time actually challenging uh, Mist Vern. So that actually wasn't that bad. But uh, yeah, the Demon Dragon Sword was the MVP here. So with that said, I'm going to end this video here. So thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you'd like to see more, please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.